Hello, Claudia. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm fine, you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. How was your work? You're not um, working today? No, um, my days uh, that I'm free, there are Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. They are your day off? Yes, my day off. Okay. So thank you for turning on the camera. I hardly remember you since basically you are always working, but thank you very much for turning on the camera. Hello, Ronald, Steve, how are you? Hello. Nice to All see good. you. All good. How was work? Uh, it's easy because I'm in the back office department, so I'm not dealing with customers over the phone. Okay. I've been like that for two years, I guess. Okay, so it's not too uh, stressing, too um, difficult uh, to deal with people, right? Because you're not listening to people like saying you their, their problems, but when you read them, it's a little bit different than listening to arguments, right? But trust me that dealing, dealing with agents, it's kind of stressful they don't they don't follow the rules as they should so that's the that's my issue i can tell i can tell i know it's very difficult to handle with a lot of people but good that you have a very good position i mean you're you have people in charge right no i mean like i am part of the audit team so uh, I need to review uh, the whole for, floor. For home of sex. The, I mean, I need to review the incidents for the whole floor, the account. Okay. Well, anyways, job is job. And I hope that you have a better job later. You can have a better, a better uh, position and maybe that. you can be promoted. Hello, Hello Jonathan, yes. are you there? Welcome, Alberto. Thank you for letting us know that, yeah, the, the exercise that you were actually trying to answer was not the one that was in the reading exercise, right? That is kind of crazy, but I will give you the answers so you will have the, the correct answers as well. Uh, welcome. Uh, hi, Elgardo. Nice to see you as well. Help me with the cameras, guys, please. Hi, teacher. Welcome, guys. And uh, hello, Lisette. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I think I I have symptom of club. I'm sorry. I have symptom of. <laughs> club? Yes, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay guys well i'm going to share the screen and we're going to answer those pending exercises so we will finish the exercise or the lesson i mean the session three okay you see yesterday i know what i don't know what's going on or what was going on with the camera but right now it seems it, it is okay so it seems it was an issue with um with Zoom, okay? I am glad that it's not a problem with my computer, <laughs> okay? And it's nice to see you. Welcome, Angela. Nice to see you as well. So, look, Ronald, well, Ronald, I, I already spoke to him and I would like to know if Jonathan will be in the class or he will be just listening, okay? And I'm gonna start sharing this exercise, okay? First of all, I would like you well we did this no no yet let me see uh -oh. the reading exercise is the one that we will answer right now but before oh i'm sorry it's three point so we finished this part already sorry Miren otra vez, comienzo con el problema. Start again. 
Hmm. Whew. One moment, please. Three point. What was the exercise, guys? I shouldn't have said anything because it starts again, right? <laughs> it started right, again. Three eleven. Three eleven. Okay. Sorry, Hello. I'm sorry for your computer. Yeah, I know. This is kind of crazy. Let's see. The video. I tested my camera when it was okay. I was um I opened it for a while and it was okay. I don't know what's going on, but it seems it's like an issue with Zoom. I hope that it's not my computer <laughs> all right so we already started this part so the knowledge check as well 3.11 let me check do you have any questions with uh, the previous exercises not for me no questions okay no, thank you before we start i would like you to help me uh, find out finding out this okay i'm going to leave this and we're going to answer okay what is for you a reaction we have we can mix or we can uh match We can match the answers. What do you think, for example, uh, if we have the answers, an assumption, which, which, uh, with which example uh, can you match it? an assumption from A to H? We have another exercise later, but I would like you to, you to answer this question. An assumption, if you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. What is that? That's a warning. That's a warning. All right, very good. Now, with the letter B, I bet you were out with another woman. I bet. That means that you are 100% sure, right? The yes. number seven, a su suspicion. Number seven? You know you ought to buy me flowers. Mm, a suspicion? Okay, I bet you were out with another woman. A suspicion. Okay, let's do it like this. We will correct them uh, in, the few, in the other exercise. I understand that you already finished. We are just pending with the 311, but we will answer everything today in order for you to have 100%, all right? And if what about uh, you can be so considerate, you can be so considerate. What do you think that that is? Um, so inconsiderate. Uh, sorry, little honor. Oh, a criticism. Yeah. Ah, okay. A criticism. Criticism. Okay. What about the letter D? You probably forget our anniversary too. Uh, like a prediction. Assumption. A prediction. Prediction or assumption? Um, prediction. In, in the picture, 
Since it's will, probably, yeah, it's probably a prediction. Let's leave it like this. Now, with the letter E, now you have to take me out to dinner twice. A suggestion. Suggestion, thank you. Okay. Then the F, it's you must have wanted to break up with me. Um, that would be an assumption for me. Yeah. Let's see an assumption with the letter F and the letter G. You know, you ought to be, you ought to buy me flowers. That's a demand. A demand. A demand. Very good. And uh, it's okay. You must feel really sorry. <laughs> An excuse. It's okay. Mm. You probably get remember... an anniversary too. I, re I remember the reaction could be the same one for different uh, questions. <laughs> okay, but an excuse. Yeah. You can be so inconsiderate. You'll probably forget anniversary. Mm. An excuse will be. Yeah, we can leave it like this. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your participation here. Okay, so let's continue. All right, instructions. Please help me read. Anyone? Mire, ahí está el problema con Lorena, ¿verdad? No sé qué también le pasa con la ah, cámara. To, today, today I bought a new camera. You bought a new camera. Yeah, it's, it's a new one. Because I thought that the one, the, the, the other one was had problem, but I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. All right, guys. Uh, please help me read instructions. Anyone? Yes. Yes. Instruction. Megan's boyfriend forgot her okay, birthday. Okay, zero. Zero. Yes. If you're like this, you are not practicing or you're not pronouncing well, okay? But body language is very important. Okay, go. Megan's boyfriend forgot her birthday. How does she read? read? Yeah. How does she react? How does she react? Choose, choose the best example with the reaction. Okay, thank you. You already have the answer. So if someone has a question or a doubt, we can answer these questions together, okay? Me Megan's boyfriends, it's only one, all right? She's, she has only one boyfriend, all right? So it's not boyfriends. Sorry guys, there are many mosquitoes here and I'm trying them not to bite me, <laughs> okay. Uh, please continue reading, please. Zero. If you do it again, if you, you will do it have again, to... one more time. If you do it again, if you do it again, you will have to find. You will have to find a new girlfriend. What was that? Uh, Maybe assumption, I not resolve the problem yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah. Pronunciation zero, pronunciation. Okay, if you do it again, repeat everybody, if you do it again. Do it again, if you do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again, do it again. Okay, if you do it again. Um, it will be a, uh, what do you think guys? Warning. A warning. A warning. A warning? Yes. Okay. Let's see. The number two. Can you read it, guys? Hello, Diana. Nice to see you again. I bet you were, were out with another woman. Uh-huh. So. A suspicion. That is a suspicion. All right. Let's see here. Number three, guys, can you help me read? Yeah, me. <laughs> okay, please. 
you can be so inconsiderate. All right. You can uh, be you can be so inconsiderate. All right. So that is a criticism. A criticism. Criticism. Vamos. Let's repeat. Criticism. 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 All right. Number four. Can you read anyone else? Teacher. Hello, tell me, Kevin. You will probably forget our anniversary too. One more time. You will probably forget our anniversary too. Okay. Forget our anniversary. One more time. <laughs> One more time, Kevin. More fluency. I need more fluency. What is the answer, guys? Forget. Forget our anniversary. Forget. It's not forget, it's forget. Okay, continue. What is the answer, guys? A prediction. A prediction? A prediction. Yes. Okay, let's see. Number one, we say it's a warning. Number two is a suspicion. Yes. A criticism is number three. So for number four, we have a prediction. Correct. Now, can you read the next one? Anyone? Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. Dinner. All right. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. Okay, so that is a demand. A demand. Thank you, guys. And number six, anyone? I wanted to break. Up. Lorena? You must have wanted to break up with me. Break up. Break up. You must have wanted to break up with me. Okay, you that is a. Uh, most have remember when we use most have a prediction no we already checked the prediction in number four an assumption you will assumption yes good job it's an assumption the next one number seven you know oh two one when do we use oh two for positive sentences in in, in a formal way in a formal way. Okay, what this express? What does this express? An obligation, assumption, of, uh, or what? It's or like should. 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 And what does should express? Possibility. A possibility, a but we, we don't have those, ap those, those options here. So that would be- A suggestion. Suggestion, thank you. It's at suggestions. Remember, when you are giving opinion or suggestions, you also use ought to or you can and use should. Uh, what about number eight? Can you someone help me? It's an excuse. Yes? It's an excuse. It's an excuse, but I want you to read it. Remember, oh, guys, I need okay. to hear you your, your reading. Really I need to hard. hear your intonation because when we have this exclamation mark, that means that we are exaggerating our, uh, our opinion. It's okay. Okay, read it, please. It's okay. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. Very nice. Excellent. You respect the commas, right? That is very good. So that is something that we didn't check. An excuse. An excuse, very good. So you have the answers already, guys. Mm, we made a mistake. So um, it was an assumption. It was an assumption, right? Number six, an assumption. So I made the mistake. Sorry about it, but you were correct. Okay, there you have the answers. So let's continue. The reading exercise, 
I would like you to read this for me, okay? I want also to listen to your uh, pronunciation and to your uh, intonation. And we are going to make the reading right now. Anyone who wants to read, we are going to read a one paragraph each, okay? We are like around 12 people. So we have like around 12 paragraphs of word, okay? Oh God. <laughs> oh, Lorena. Yeah, we are sharing the same. That is crazy. Anyways, anyone who wants to read the first paragraph? How serious May is it? Yes, go ahead, okay. please, Claudia, with the with the title as well. Okay. Um, how serious is a uh, plagiar plagiarism? Is that the pronunciation? Plagiar plagiarism. 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 Okay. Um, okay. Scan the first part. Hey, remember, it's a question mark. How serious is plagiarism? Okay. Okay. How Continue. serious is a plagiarism? <laughs> it's a little difficult the pronunciation. Everybody repeat, guys. Play. 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 Yeah. Plagiarism. 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 Good job. Good job. Okay, continue, please, Claudia. Okay. Scan the first paragraph of the article. What does the word pa plagiarism? Plagiarism. 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 Meme. Very good. All right. Scan. Okay. Mm, a little bit. Uh, with the S, scan. right? Scan the first okay, paragraph scan. of the article. Okay, continue okay. until the period. Okay. Uh, recently, a biology teacher recently, in Kansas, recently a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Mid Midwest, made national and even international news. Continue. Okay, after Kristen Felton discovered that 28 of her, uh, of, of her 118 students, um, students have plagi plagiar plagiarism. Plagiarized. <laughs> plagiarized, um, part of major project, and she gave them failing grades, although- Failing, failing, failing grades. Failing grades, although Period. this was- Period. Okay. All right. All right. She gave, okay. Uh, one of uh, her 118 students had plagiarized part of plagiarized. the major project. She gave them failing grades, right? Failing, no good grades. Thank you. Continue. Okay. Any other person? I want everybody to read, please. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. You're Continue. Welcome. Hello, Ronald. Steve, continue. Okay. Although this was the school policy. The students' parents complained. The school board directed Miss Felton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire one, 1,800 points. Miss Felton resigned in protest. Thank you. Very good. Any other person? Another? Thank you. Me, oh. Okay, Lorena and then Angela. If you Why can did... raise your hand, okay? Continue, Lorena, please. Why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Continue. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raised, forgotten. 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 It raised some important questions. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? Very good, all right. It raised some important questions. Important, all right? Remember important. one more time? Important. Important. In this case, we don't pronounce the T very strong. We just important. say important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, important. important. Very good, thank you. Continue now, Angela. Okay. okay the other paragraph. Um, the sim. Continue the 
Uh, the simplest form of the plagiarism, of course, when someone copy, copy material. Copies, someone copies. Copies, copies material without giving credit to the source, wherever mm -hmm. there are also more serious forms, such as when students. Touches. Such as when? Such as when a student pays someone else to write and write. Essay. Can you say write an essay? All right. Writing there essay. are some serious forms, such as when a student pays, when a student, when a student, remember to make when a link between words, mm -hmm. okay? When a student pays someone else, when when to write an essay. All right. Uh, continue, uh, I guess, Jonathan, you raise your hand, right? And then Diana. Someone people claim that, that cop copying is necessary to the, do well in school. They have re realized, realized? That, they, that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another mm. common argument is that everyone does it. So it is not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures. Respected figures. Respected figures. Figures? Figures, including Martin Luther King Jr. have plagiarized. 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 Plagiar plagiarized. All right. Plagiarized. Thank you. Remember, another comment is that everyone does it. It's going to be, has been learned even though respected. Remember, when we have a TD, uh, after TED, we always pronounce the ED. All right. For the regular verbs. Uh, also, realized. Realized. What is the meaning of realized? In English. <gasps> Sorry. Get noticed to notice, very good to re, uh, to get into account, right? Um, there was something that I want to ask you. I want to tell you mm, necessary to throughout their own ones or not. As well, everyone does it. It's not a big deal. It has to learn figures. Okay, let's continue. Diana, you wanted to continue uh, reading? Go. Raise your hand for the last paragraph if you want to read it. <laughs> I'm not moving like that, guys. I'm not moving like that. <laughs> Continue, Diana. Also, some people find reasons to justify plagiarism. Other feel the issue is clear cut. They feel it's morally wrong and consider it stealing a theft of ideas rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefit unfairly. They receive a better grade than they deserve. I would like to, to ask you if this has happened to you. I mean, you studied a lot. And in the university, I remember that there were a lot of students copying in the exam. And I had like five or six and they got like a 10 copying. So is that fair? I mean, they say that everybody does it, so there shouldn't be an issue. But if you are, um, if you're responsible about your acts, I believe that it's not good to to copy. But the last part, can you read it? Someone else who's missing the last paragraph. What about clear cut? What is a clear cut, guys? Yes. Other fields, the issue is clear cut. <laughs> I made a research and it was like something too easy to perceive. Okay, it's something obvious, right? Everything is clear, all right? The case is obvious. Very good, Ronald. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, the last paragraph, guys. Can you read it? Me. Okay, go. So what about the incident in Kansas? What the original punishment to sever. Uh, uh, one more time, Zero, it's a question. So what about the incident in Kansas? So what about 
the incident in Kansas. What? No. What about? What about? What about? What about? Yeah. So what about? So what about? So what so about? about? What about the incident in Kansas? What the original puts me to several. Was? Ahí se dice was. Mira, aquí dice what y aquí dice aquí dice what was. y was. Right? Yeah, was. Was the original. Was the original punishment too severe? Punishment too severe. Punishment. Too severe. Punishment too severe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do teachers have the right to to tell do student? Teachers, and, do teachers have? Do teachers have the right to tell a student and parents what is right or wrong? Mr. Right Pertron, or wrong. Mm -hmm. right or wrong. Mr. Pelton would probably say that the job of the teacher is not do exactly that. That's. All right, thank you. Uh, let me read the last part, Alberto. So what about the incident in Kansas? One more time. Okay, so what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too severe? Do teacher have the right to tell the student and parent what is right or wrong? Mr. Pelton would probably say that the job of the teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, very good. A student for everybody is not a student. Remember, it's just students, all right? So tell student. Aquí hacemos un, un, un puentecito entre la L con la S para que no nos salga ese E, ¿verdad? To tell student, all right? Uh, you did it correctly. Very good, guys. Thank you. Any questions regarding this new vocabulary? We have the clear cut, right? That was a new a new vocabulary for Ronald. She he actually looks for yes, it because he it didn't is. he didn't it's know. New. Any other? Actually, Any other? the word plagiarism is new for me. I didn't know that. <laughs> plagio. I mean, yeah, plagio. That I didn't know how to say in English that word. All right. So, in in your own words, what is plagiarism? I think I think is when you uh, it's like a violation of the copyright from another person. Okay, or you take you someone else. Any other opinion? Very good, Albert. Any other opinion, guys? We have a exact a, a answer around here. Um, let's see here. The symbols of plagiarism occurs when someone uh -huh. um, what is plagiarism for you, Angela? Um, In your own words, not reading the, the exact paragraph. Plagiarism. Um honestly. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. No. We have the no. answers here. Someone copies uh, material that's without student. giving credit to the source. Okay. Oh. Basically, that's it. When you are copying somebody else's ideas, somebody else's uh, quotes or expressions, and you take them like if it's your own idea. All right. That is basically plagiarism. Excellent, guys. Any other word that you would like to know the meaning? No? For reading, that was good. That was a good exercise. Now we will continue with the answers. I will give you the answers right now. But I would like, I know that the reading doesn't have anything to do with the, uh, with the questions, but... Can you continue reading, guys? Can you help me just with the reading? I will tell you if it's a fact or an opinion. I will give you the answers. Um, may I try? Ah, tell me. Okay. Today, the town of Silver Creek has a population of 100 people. Okay. What do you think that is? Is that an opinion or a population of 100 people? I answer that okay. as if it was part of the of that story, the one we just read. Yeah. And I answer as an opinion because they did not mention it. And it was correct. <laughs> yeah, me It was an opinion. <laughs> Has a population of a hundred people. 
And it was correct if you selected the opinion. Yes, it no. was correct. <laughs> okay. For me, it should be a fact because we have some documents that support the population, but it's also an opinion. All right. That is that could be either either or fact or opinion. Number two, can someone read the number two? The man the miners so flame flame like blood, like on top of each grape. Okay. So is that a I think that's I, I think it's a fact. It's a fact. Uh -huh. Remember to pronounce the T. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. Because fact is something different, all right? Yeah, yeah. So pronounce the T, guys. Yeah, okay. Number that's three. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. Correct. Number three. Can you so can someone read it? We are doing the answers together, right, guys? So don't worry. You just have to read. Edward Lyham suggested various explanations yes. for the lights. Lyham suggested various explanations for the lights. Okay. What is that? Fact or opinion? Opinion. An opinion? Mm -hmm. Not fuck. It should be a fact. It suggested various. So it's a. It's a. It's not an opinion. It's actually someone did do a suggestions. All right. Okay. And the other one, number four. Can you? My, can somebody read it? My bad. I wanted to say that the, the first one is a fact. It's a fact. Yes. Okay. That's what I was. Anyways, guys, we are doing this exercise together since you didn't have any idea about, about the, the questions, okay? But yeah, it's, it's, it's a fact because, as I mentioned, population can be supported by a, like a, a file or a document, right? Thank you, Ronald. Okay, thank you for correcting us. Number four, guys, the lights. The lights. Or a reflection of the lights from the town. Reflection of the lights from the town. Of the light from the town. Is that an opinion? Yes. Okay, opinion. let's do it like it's that. A fact. Oh, it's a fact. I opinion. think you could say we're actually a reflection of light from the town, but okay. Don't worry, let's leave it like this. We can we are going to know if it's correct or not. Okay. Number five, guys. Can you read it? There was no, no evidence. No evidence. Radioactivity. Of radioactivity. Okay. There was no evidence. 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 Okay. In my opinion, there was no evidence. Is that a fact or an opinion? An opinion. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. All right. It's and fun. the lights were from the helmets of dead miners. Miners, ah, miners. That's a fact. It's a fact, that I guess. That sounds weird. <laughs> Opinion. Were from the helmets of dead miners. Opinion. I guess it was a fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you saw dead miners. And it was a fact, all right? Someone in, someone died, it was, should be a fact. Okay, but oh, opinion. we made a mistake. <laughs> Anyways, so, opinion, fact, there was no I evidence. Do, I do, yes, okay. it's the same. <laughs> Don't worry, we're here to answer them and do the correction. Copy the um. answers. Well, you, you should know already the answers. Take a screenshot if you want. We have only two options, right? Fact or opinion. Good. Continue, guys. Yes? <laughs> For the listening activity, the letter A, the, we have listening. Um, 
Did you answer those questions already? Yes. Was everything okay? Yes. For me. For me, yes. For you, yes. Okay, guys, do you want to answer this in group or you will do it by yourself? In group now, or you will do it yourself, guys? Solo, solo, solo Lorena says that she already finished. We can do it uh, in group. We can, we can do it in group and... so we can discuss about the audio. Do... Pay attention then. Teacher, I finished too. Well, by the time I was a junior in high Sorry. school, I had gotten a part-time job so that I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know. But before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight? Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However, I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. Three. Gosh, Tess, have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. It sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. And it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? On College Avenue. It's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new <laughs> customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh... Thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. All right, so for number one, what is the answer? Before Patrick's mom finished high school, she... Almost didn't graduate. Thank you very much. Okay, number two. If Patrick's mom had been more serious in high school, she would had she would have taken higher, taken higher, higher, level, class higher, class higher class. level classes. Thank you. Number three. To establish a popular coffee bag, Tess and Austin agree it's important to play good music. Play good, good music. Play soft, attractive lighting. Okay, what do you think, guys? Ha uh, play good music or have soft and attracted lightning? Play good music. Play good music. Play good music. Play what good. about number four? As Austin surprises Tess by saying he... Doesn't drink coffee. Doesn't drink coffee. Very good. That was very easy. So for the second part, we have only two questions. Let's see. We 
One. Okay, Ben, I think everything is ready for the party. What time did you tell everyone to show up? Oh, around 7.30 or 8. Great. Are Ellen and Walter coming? Well, I guess so. I sent Walter a text. Oh, no. Walter never checks his phone. You should have talked to him. I didn't really think about it. Texting is just more convenient for me. But you work with Ellen. You could have invited her at work. I'm sorry. I thought Walter would read the text message. I'm going to try to call them right now. Two. Okay. You know, Regina, I'm really fed up with Jessica. Why is that? She seems like a pretty nice person. In fact, I really enjoy working with her. She tells entertaining stories. Well, she does everything she can to impress the vice president. She's so polite to him, and she even baked him a chocolate cake on his birthday. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have done that. I think she's trying to get a promotion. Hmm, that's a very big assumption, Martin. Don't forget that she's nice to everyone, not just our boss. All right, Ellen and Walter probably won't be at the party because... Ben sent a message. Good job. Number two, Martin thinks that Jessica should have... Shouldn't have baked their boss a birthday cake. Baked their boss a birthday cake. Baked their boss a birthday cake. Okay, guys. We have the answers and we have the 25 points already. If you didn't do it, just take a look on the answers. All right. We have the answers here. And for the part B, it's the second and the first one. Continue and we're almost okay. What about the midnight with the midterm, guys? Please help me read. I want to read uh, to listen to your reading. Choose the correct word. Okay. So we have only two options. We have ants once until or before. What is the answer? Until. Kellen, can you, someone tell me? Until. Until. Once. Once, Once or until? Once. Was Once. I graduated from, from college? <laughs> Guys, I want you to read. I know which one. Please, all right? Um, I will try. Tell me. Once I graduated, and uh, from high school, from college, sorry, I used um, my college degree to get a high paying job. Very good. Since I graduated, we're given the reason, all right? Very good. Um, no, in this case, it's once. Once I graduated, all right? Uh, the second one, thank you. Another one, a per another person? Until Takio got his first car, he immediately found out how many of his friends needed rides? Mm, until, what do you think, guys? Takio got his first car. He immediately found out the how moment. many the of moment. his friends the needed moment. rides. The moment Takio got his car, let's check this one, okay? Thank you. Number three, guys. Can you uh, show the, the options? Oh, sure, sure. Sorry. There you have as soon as Katrina landed her first job, she decided to put 10% of each paycheck in the bank. Decided. Very good. Just the simple pass, right? Decided. All right. She decided. As soon as she decided. Why cannot be had decided or have decided? Do you remember why? We need to use the verb in past participle? No. It is correct, decided, all right? It's just the simple past. You see, as soon as Katrina landed, that is simple past. That means that mm -hmm. we also have to use a, um, uh, another past verb, right? 
Okay. Why not had decided or have decided? Because until now, uh, we don't have the the we don't have any relationship with anything that happened in the past. Remember, present perfect is an action that includes the past and the present, but it's this is only past. Thank you. Number four, guys, can someone read? Don't be afraid to make mistakes, guys. We learn from them. To gain more real world experience in colleagues, Andrew, Andre, uh, the auction. To gain more, re more real world experience in college, Andre. Should have applied. Should have applied for an applying internship. Should have applied, all right? Thank you. And the number five, continue reading. We have the options here. No. If, I you, be, if, if I'd be more sensible in college, I could have learned how to control my money and not get into debt. I could have learned. All right. And the next one. Thank you. Number seven. He, if, if I... Sorry. Uh, if I... Has been so immature. If I had been so immature, I would have appreciate appreciated all that my family tried to do for me when I was in a, when I was in school. If if I had been, yeah, had been or hadn't or hadn't been, had or hadn't been. If I had been, had been like this. Been. Yeah. Six. Mm. More than six. We are pending with the six. I know. Sorry, we. I oh, jumped sorry. to seven. No, but it's okay. My question is: had been or hadn't been, guys? What do you think? Hadn't, hadn't been. Hadn't been. Hadn't. No, tan maduro, verdad? So it should ah, be yeah. hadn't yes, been. Yes, yes. Yeah. Number six, guys. He should be so naive. Oh, yes. I can't believe he actually fell for all the lies Anna told him. All right, naive. All right, naive. Uh, so naive. if he, he what is the be. meaning of naive? Sorry, a person who is very um innocent. Innocent, thank you. That is the word. Thank you, Ron. High five and for you. An innocent person, like. I, like we, ah, uh, like us, like us, <laughs> <laughs> like us, yeah. Uh, we're no, I don't think we're so, we are so um, naive. We are not naive, yeah. But anyways, uh huh. Uh, so what is the option? Should be. He should be. He should be. Bell for all the lies. Me. Le, le cachó me. todas las mentiras, todas se las agarró la Ana. Uh -huh. Shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been, vea. Si no hubiese sido así, ahí estamos. Si no hubiera sido así, no lo hubiera creído. Um, you say naive, but I heard it was naive. All right, let me just confirm. Mm. Let's see, here it is. Without experience, look, it's naive, okay? Naive. You heard? Naive. naive. No naive, it's naive. naive, okay? Innocent, you see here, not experienced person. And we have the uh, word or the stop. Uh, we have the answer there. Okay, the next number eight. Can someone he, he, uh, read? It? 
You, de, you de were supposed to finish this already, right? Yo sé que solo estaba pendiente de 311, but I need the answers, okay? Let's do it again, okay. guys. Let's do it together. Can I read? Sure, Claudia. No okay, the, the delivery man was supposed to drop off the boxes. Man. 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 The man delivery is plural. Man, okay, the delivery man was supposed to drop off the boxes drop at off. night. Look, drop, drop off. off. Drop off the boxes at nine o'clock. He is an hour late. He must uh, he must not have lost the direction to get here. He must not have he lost must, the direction to get. He must not. Es una he asunción. It's an assumption. Might. Might. Muy bien. Might have. Okay. All right. Pudo haberse, verdad? Pudo haberse perdido o pudo haber perdido. All right, might have lost. Number nine, someone else? Gloria was wearing a new ring today and John looked very happy. They must have decided to get married. Okay, nice. They must have decided. That is an assumption. Number 10, someone else? Did you remember to charge the digital camera? Charge. Oh no. Charge. Charge the digital camera. Oh no. You should have remind me. Remind you should me. have reminded me. Reminded remind, me. Remind me. Reminded me. Reminded. 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 Siempre, Remind guys, que tenemos D, E, D o T, E, D, siempre pronunciamos esta, esta letra, ¿ok? Solo en estos casos lo pronunciamos. Vamos a hablar. We will discuss when to pronounce the E, D, because sometimes we don't pronounce it when we have to pronounce them, ¿ok? Letter, uh, sorry, number 10. Oh, you should, number 11, guys. I understand. I ordered steak last night at the new restaurant, at that new restaurant. I was disappointed. Upon it was undercooked. So, but I didn't do anything about it. Hmm. What should I have done? You should, you should have. I go have. Would have. I would have. Lo, pude haberme, verdad? O me hubiera compo. What is complain? Quejado, verdad? Okay, guys, oh, now we have the, uh, the answers. Si quieren, tomele captura de pantalla así rapidito, porque tenemos un minuto para terminar. We have almost finished the class. Y la última, ustedes me dijeron que pues ustedes la iban a hacer. Así que aquí nos quedamos con el reading. Si pues, tenemos tiempo, mañana hacemos el reading. Do you have any questions, guys? Because no, we need to... No, we need no, to no, con Thank este creo que todos ya lo, ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Eh, así que espero que, to, que les salga bien las respuestas, ¿ok? O quieren que se las dé rapidito. Uh, we can try to do it and tomorrow we can yeah. check. Yes. Ok, very good. So we, we can check tomorrow, guys, because it's almost time, ¿ok? And yeah, we will not finish all the exercises if we are doing this. Uh, in a minute. So I'm going to leave it for you to do it to, by yourself. And if you have questions, let me know. Tomorrow we will answer them. Okay? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you guys. Have a good evening. Bye bye. 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 Bye.